everyone, it's Vic here from at Forever Scrapping, back today with my third layout using the Think Happy kit from Lottie Loves Paper. This time I've used an old um, negative from a cut file. I've been keeping hold of it for a while and um, I thought that it would work perfectly with my sleeping kitten Mr Biscuit as he dreams about chasing bees, birds and butterflies. So I've used one of the 12 by 12 paper sheets from the add-on kit. It's from the Truly Grateful collection by Paige Taylor Evans and I just loved the rainbow colours in it. So what I did was I trimmed the um, cardstock that the cut file was on down slightly so that I could use the pattern paper as a base and frame my layout just to ground it a little bit. I then gutted that patterned paper so that I could save some of it for future use on other layouts because it's so gorgeous. So as you can see I've framed it and then deciding what colours I wanted behind my butterflies. I quite like blues and purples so I thought they were quite nice and also they, they match the colour of my Mr Biscuit quite nicely. He really is a sweetie. When he snuggles up at the end of the day to sleep, then he's out for the count. So I couldn't wait to scrap this photo of him. So I'm just sticking my cardstock down now onto my pattern paper to create that frame. Then I've used the 6x8 paper pad, which was an add-on as well by Amy Tangerine, Slice of Life. I've used that to back my photograph. Um, the two collections in the kit this time really complement each other beautifully. And I decided that the title for my page would be that word, the puffy sticker word, Dream, which I think was a pink fresh... Um, sticker that I already had in my stash, possibly from a previous collection. I always like to um, scrap photos of my cats, animals in my life. I wouldn't be without them, so they're part of the family, so Everything that they do needs to be documented as well. And this uh, this little man, he's just turned two now, so he's not really a kitten, but he, he is dinky. He doesn't look like a boy at all. He looks like a girl, but I won't tell him that. <laughs> but he's always getting up to mischief, bringing me home presents, climbing in cupboards, going places he just shouldn't be. Um, I'm sure he's probably used up lots of his nine lives already. So in the kit as well came these really pretty uh, butterfly embellishments from Vicky Bootin. They're so delicate and I love the fact that they're um, layered and a bit 3D. So seeing as the theme was chasing butterflies in your sleep whilst you're dreaming, I added those onto the page. Um, I had some of the Truly Grateful collection at home already. So... This is one of the sheets I already had in my stash, so just fussy cutting some of the leaves out of that to add a bit more decoration onto my page and start layering things up. And there were also some butterflies on there as well, so they had a bit of fussy cutting done and added to the page. So I really wanted to try and make it look like the butterflies were fluttering off the page. So just adding a few little extra bits on and making a few embellishment clusters. As you can see the colours really work well together between the different collections. Really pleased with how this page is turning out. So I originally had the dream down this bottom right hand corner but as you'll see as things progress I start to 
move it around a bit more and that isn't actually its final place. I decided that it wasn't really working with the title there and the embellishment cluster above it because it, it just wasn't working for me. It didn't seem to flow on the page. So I've committed to where my photograph is going to be this time. Just adding some foam pads onto the backs of some of the embellishments I've fussy cut just so I can add a little bit of extra depth on the page. Struggling to get the foam, <laughs> the backing off the foam pad there. Sometimes they come off really easily and sometimes they don't. I do have some tweezers that I like to use. Um, I find that a bit easier to use those sometimes. So I've popped a line around the photograph of my kitten um, just to frame the photo and bring it out a little bit more from the paper. And I'd cut quite a few um, more embellishments out of that paper from the Truly Grateful collection. So I'm layering them up and adding them in embellishment clusters but also tucking them into that, that negative of the butterfly on that back cardstock. I've seen Paige um, use it sometimes on a cut file of words where she's filled that negative space. She's backed it with some pattern paper and then filled it with embellishments. So I thought I'd try it with the butterflies. And I was really pleased with how it turned out. So just placing everything going up the page. So once I've decided where I want all those bits, then I'm just gluing them in, adding some foam pads behind, just to once again add a little bit more depth. So it looks like they're flying up the page, away from him. So do, I do like fussy cutting, but sometimes I do take quite a while to decide where I want to put these things. So here you can see I'm just deciding where to put that um, title word, dream. Really decided it wasn't working with the heart and foliage bits coming out of it. So decided it would stick up on that left side instead. It was sort of framed around it. So then I could build up my embellishment cluster. So instead of the title being down that end, I ended up putting my journaling down there. So it has sort of created a bit of diagonal on my layout. You have to excuse me, I didn't have a ruler and I wanted my lines to be fairly straight so What's the next best thing to a ruler? A piece of packaging. <laughs> didn't have to be quite precise, but I didn't want it being wonky and me then ruining my layout. And then to finish the page off, I just added a sprinkling of sequins across the page. Anyway, I shall leave you to watch the rest of my layout as it comes together. Uh, thank you for watching and please pop over to my Instagram to see my other scrapping creations. That's www.instagram.com forward slash forever scrapping forward slash. And um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you. Bye.